we're going to string along um, what we just learned and see how far it is in our advancement to learn the 10 form, okay? Yes, we will come to cloud hands. Yes, we don't know how to do this. Yes, we don't know how to do that. But that's why you're in class, okay? So let's just be a little bit confident, okay? Good Tai Chi posture. Yang Ten form. Commencing form. Shift weight to the right. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Off the ground, open. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hands rotate to the middle of our thighs as we take a deep breath and elevate our hands at shoulder level. We drop our shoulders, tuck our elbows and wrists down, and flex our knees. We center the front hand. We look at the back hand that's higher. We open both the ceiling. We repulse the monkey by bringing the back hand closer to the area of our ear, turning our neck and face as we meet both hands in the middle and slide forward and slide back. Center the front hand. Rise the back hand as you glance, open to the ceiling, bringing it to your ear, turning your face, meeting both hands in the center, slide forward, slide back, final repulse of the monkey. Left hand comes close to the shoulder as a parallel hand, right hand up higher. We're on a T stance. We're going to multitask to brush our knee. Out on an L, bring those hands to the ear and down, turn the hips and waist. Brush your knee, hands go for the ride. Sit back, lower, pivot. Right hand closer to the shoulder on a T, left hand up higher. Ear, heel, hand, turn the hips and waist. Brush your knee. Sit back, lower, pivot. Hold your ball on a T stance. We're gonna part the wild horse's mane. Out on an L, move that ball. On a bow stance, here's your snack. Sit back, lower, pivot, hold your ball on the tee, out and to the side, part the wild horse's mane. Flip the forward hand, join it with the back hand, where the palm is now looking at you on the left hand. You're on a bow stance. Sit back, lower, pivot, you're at 12 o'clock. Use your left heel to pivot out to the 9 o'clock. Two things happen. Flip the hands, close the feet. Move the hands because you're moving your waist. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, flip the hands, open the feet. 12 o'clock, stem and tuck. 9 o'clock, only flip the hands. Use your hips and waist to get to 12 o'clock. Use your hips and waist to get to three o'clock where two things happen. Flip the hands, close the feet. Middle or cup at 12, nine o'clock, flip the hands open. 12 o'clock, stem cup. Three o'clock, only flip the hands, leaving cloud hands. Nine o'clock, center up, golden cockerel. Kick out. Now we're into grasping of the bird's tail. Our new lesson. Out on an L, push your opponent by forearming him away. Turn hips and waist, reposition your hands. Sit down, sit back, look back, contact, turn your hips and waist to the center, push out, separate your hands, make yourself small by dropping down, then unflex that knee and come up and forward. Sit down, lower, pivot, left hand on the bottom, left foot ready to go, we're going to take an L stance and push our opponent away. We're gonna turn our hips and waist, reposition your hands, grasp the burst tail, pull back, look back, contact, turn, push out, separate, roll back, sit down, unflex those knees, and push out. 
sit back, lower, pivot. Okay? One more time, out this way. Sit back, lower, pivot. One more time. We're on a bow stance, sit, push out. We're in a bow stance. Sit, back, lower, pivot. So in good Tai Chi posture, dropping those shoulders, commencing form. Open. Take a deep breath in as you elevate. Make yourself small. Center, rise up higher, glance, open. Bring it to the area of your ear. Turn your head and neck. Repulse of the monkey. Center, higher, glance. Bring it to the ear. Turn your head and neck. Repulse of the monkey. T stance, parallel and higher. Alternate L to multitask to brush your knee. Sit back, lower. Pivot. Root down, parallel, higher. Ear, heel, hand, turn the hips and waist. Brush your knee. Sit back, lower. Pivot. Hold your ball on the T stance. Out and to the side. Part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, lower. Pivot. Hold your ball on a T. Out on an L. Here is your snag. Flip the forward hand, join it with the back. You're in a bow stance. Sit back, lower, pivot, you're at 12 o'clock. Stem and cup. Pivot your left heel out to the nine o'clock. Flip the hands, join the feet. 12 o'clock, stem cup. Three o'clock, flip the hands open. Stem cup. Nine o'clock only, flip your hands for cloud hands. Middle cup. Three o'clock, flip the hands, close the feet. Stem cup. Nine o'clock, flip hands, open. Stem cup. Three o'clock, only flip the hands, leaving cloud hands to become a golden cockerel. Then, kicking out. We're going to grasp the bird's tail to the right. Out with the heel, push your opponent away. Don't forget to turn your hips and waist, reposition your hands to grasp the bird's tail as you look back. Contact, center of the body, push it out. Roll back, make yourself small. Unflex your knees and forward. Sit back, lower, pivot, left hand on the bottom, holding your ball. We're going to take an L to push our opponent away. Turn our hips and waist to grasp our bird's tail. Sit down, sit back, look back. Contact, center of the body, push out. Separate and roll back. And spiral up and forward. Next week's lesson, sit back, sit down, pivot. Open pivot. In pivot. Right hand on the inside as you turn your wrist so that both palms are facing. You're going to embrace the tiger, pulling him up as you unflex your knees. Bring it up to chest level. Pause. Push out with the power of your left wrist. Both palms are now facing downwards. We're going to close by dropping our shoulders, wrists and elbows, flexing our knees, wrapping around, up on your heel, off the ground as you now close your form. Okay, very good. Okay, good job, see you next time.